Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Season 2, Episode 6. Round 1, let's begin. First up, take a graphite pencil and draw two thick lines. Then tape the positive and negative terminals of a 3 volt battery to the lines. Close the switch on the battery holder, and now if you complete the circuit with an LED facing the correct way, the LED will turn on. Next up, you need hot water and some dry ice. If you have a large enough potential difference from the near boiling water to the really cold dry ice, the electrons will flow through the wire and light up the LED. Lastly, grab some oranges and connect them all in series using these copper and zinc metal prongs. Then when you complete the circuit, the LED will turn on. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Graphite does conduct electricity, so this is a real way to light up an LED. Oranges in this configuration can also be used to light up an LED, although it wasn't very bright, which is why I needed to turn off the lights. If you want to try this at home, I've linked the kit I got in the description of this video. That means this video is fake. A temperature difference like this does not cause electricity to flow from hot to cold. I simply turned the LED on using a power supply, masked the bright LED, and overlaid it back onto the original clip. Here's a quick recap to help you follow along before moving on. Next up, it's time for round two. First up, take some very viscous vegetable glycerin and pour it into a bowl. Then put a bowl of water inside to create a thin layer of glycerin on the outside. I added chip clips so the middle bowl stays roughly concentric. Then add some food dye to some other bowls with glycerin. Then place a few color streaks into the thin layer of glycerin. When I spin the middle bowl, the colors appear to mix, but because the glycerin is so viscous, I can spin the bowl back and the colors will separate into their individual streaks. Next up, take an erasable pen and write on a sheet of paper. The ink of these pens is thermochromic, so it changes color with temperature. That means if you use a heat gun, you can erase the ink. Next up, take a small piece of plasticine and stick it to a plate. Then you need two matches. Break off the first match to make it slightly shorter and then rest the second match on the first one like this. Then after you light them and let them completely burn, the matches will become stuck at the tip and the second match will be lifted off the plate as you can see here. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. The viscosity of the vegetable glycerin does allow for the food dye to mix and then return to its original position. And heat guns are hot enough to erase the ink of an erasable pen. That means this vid- just kidding, it's the long awaited none of the videos are fake option. Here's a full clip of what happens when both matches are burned and as you can see the second match is lifted off the plate. Here's a quick recap to help you follow along before moving on. Now it's time for the final round, round 3. First up, you hopefully remember from last round that the erasable pen can be erased with a heat gun. But if you take a block of dry ice and place it on the erased ink for a few moments, the ink will return. Next up, take some clear glue and empty it into a bowl. Then add a bit of baking soda and mix it up. Next, add some food dye to change the color. Lastly, add a bit of contact solution and mix it once again. And now you'll be left with some fun slime that can be squished and stretched like this. If you take a very viscous substance like this syrup and add it to a container, you can place a ping pong ball in this container and when you drop it, the ping pong ball will shoot up. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Ink from an erasable pen can be brought back by cooling it with dry ice. And this is a real way to make slime. That means this video was fake. I tried my absolute best to edit out the water and the sound of the splash from this original clip. But no, it will not work with a viscous substance like syrup. However, the ping pong ball does shoot up when the container is filled with water. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you liked seeing the none of the videos were fake option. As I've said before, I'm only very rarely going to use that option because I do want to stick to the name of the game, but I thought it'd be fun to try it out. Thanks for watching to the end, and I'll see you next time.